<laughs> is it on? It is. It is on, <laughs> right. Hi, I'm Patrick Wake, the Group Director of Information Security at FDM Group. And I'm Sarah Wire, I'm the Data Architect at FDM Group. Today we're going to be looking at the most common Google searches around AI. So is AI going to steal my job? <laughs> I hope not. I hope it does steal your job. <laughs> I hope it comes and takes it, snatches it. So I guess it's a major concern <laughs> right now. Um, but realistically, I guess it depends on your job role and what you're using AI for. I know that uh, there's a lot of concerns around the writing industry with the writer's strike in America happening. And I think necessarily it's not going to steal their job, perhaps become a big part of it. I think that there are going to be some changes, certainly to multiple industries, but realistically, AI is not going to build buildings. So I think only certain industries are going to be caught up by this. I, yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be a bit of a shift, but I don't think people are necessarily going to lose their jobs. I just think they're going to change. Okay. Is AI a threat to humanity? Uh, it depends on which movie you watch, I guess. <laughs> if it's a case out of Terminator with Skynet, then potentially we should be worried. But I guess it's about trusting the people who are developing it and also the people who are using these kind of tools. Yeah, completely. Because, you know, you can build anything into AI, right? And Absolutely. you can make different choices. Um, the choices that you make are key to whether it's going to threaten humanity or not. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, is AI good or bad? Uh, I guess it's how you're using it and what you're using it for. Yeah. I mean, uh, a car isn't bad, but if you don't know how to drive it properly, you'd do bad things, right? Yeah, it's a tool, right? So like AI is just a tool, so it's whose hands it's in. You can be really mindful about the data that you train AI on, or you can just scrape the internet and have all of the carnage that exists on the internet in your data model and in your AI. Is AI overrated? It's certainly oh, overhydrated. Oh, overhyped. <laughs> Can't read. Over overhydrated. <laughs> you can just have you read it on its side. Is AI overhyped? <laughs> I think it's way overhydrated. It's overhydrated, over definitely. Is is AI overhyped? It's certainly oversold. Every single call I go on, it's or oh, AI and machine learning can do this. Actually, you put me off on a tangent there about it being overhydrated, right? So <laughs> it's really interesting. So it just put my head into a spin about sort of the, the effect that AI has on the environment. So you've mm. got all of the you've got all of the, the stuff that all of the servers that and all of the data that you that's needed for AI, and it's really damaging the environment. So yeah, it, it, maybe it's dehydrating the planet. <laughs> I don't know. Um, is it overhyped? A little AI is really cool and it's a mm. great tool, but you're not going to see robots walking around saying, Hey, how can I help you? It's just not fair yet. So, is AI biased? Well, one for you is it's your research topic, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm currently studying um, a PhD in this topic at the minute. Is it biased? Just yes, <laughs> essentially. Short answer. <laughs> Short answer it is purely because people make AI and people are biased, whether consciously or unconsciously, we are all biased and we embed our bias within the systems that we develop. And we need diversity within the group making those um, systems. We, we tend to trust computers, right? So if we're presented with a computer telling us something, we think, well, that must be the grand truth. And it's not necessarily true with AI. We've seen this in America with the Compass system that many people might have heard about, where judges were given an AI system that was essentially biased against people of colour. It was meant to advise people, judges, on how to make their decisions, but they were just using it carte blanche. People were incarcerated because of this. So I guess then really, this is a fast moving and developing area. Yeah. Right now, it should be perhaps used, but treated carefully. That's right, and regulation is get, uh, is coming into place right now, but that is, that is gonna take time, but um, it is embryonic, and we are gonna see change. So I, I'm really hopeful. For a couple of eggs are going to be kind of dropped along the way, I'm guessing. A bit. A bit. It's going to be a really messy omelette, I reckon. I, yep. I agree. <laughs> you like so, that? That's that is noise. AI for yeah. you. <laughs> Take 90. I think we passed that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the labor me. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'm dyslexic too. So the fact that we both got there in the end oh, is remarkable. It is remarkable. We made it to the end. We made it all the way through. <laughs>